Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you one sample per track production in Reaper. Now the concept of using one sample per track is a quick way to bring in samples like drums or percussion and work with them separately on separate tracks. So let's take a look how it works in practice. I have a project set up here and I want to add some drums to it. We can go up here to the view menu and choose the Media Explorer. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut on PC, it's all Control X, and on Mac, it's Option Command X. Choose it, and that opens up this window. And we can choose samples to import into Reaper. I already set up a folder for my favorite samples right here, and I created another folder right here I want to use in this song. I have a kick, a snare, some claps, and a hi-hat. So I want to import these into Reaper so I could trigger them with my USB MIDI keyboard. Now a quick way to do this is to select a sample and then right click it and then choose to insert it into a sampler on a new track. And then the effects on this new track are already using Resamplematic 5000 with that sample installed right here. But a quicker way to do this is to change our defaults. So if we right click up here, we could choose options and choose default action for double click and change it to insert media into sample player on new track. Choose that. And now if we double click our samples, it'll create a new track with a sample player on it. So we could double click each one to import them on their own separate track. Let's move them to the top. And now if we go to our mixer, we can see a separate track and a fader for each. So we can adjust the level, their pan, add effects to each sample separately. But the one problem with this method is now we need to record each sample separately. Our kick, snare, clap, and hi-hat, all the MIDI needs to be triggered from separate tracks. And we probably don't want that. So we can create a separate track just for our MIDI. Let's make a new track, put it to the top, let's name it. Now we want to send this drum track to our samples. And we can do that by selecting the drum tracks, hold down shift on the routing button, and just drag it to here. That's going to send our MIDI to all these tracks. But let's turn off the audio so it's only sending MIDI. So I can close this window, put this track into record, and if we play a MIDI keyboard, we hear all the samples at the same time. So we need a way to filter out one key per sample. And there's two different ways I prefer to do this. Let's go through both. The first way is to go to each sample plugin. Here's our kick. Hit the key we want to trigger for the kick on our MIDI keyboard. Then we can double click this button and it changes to that note. And just do the same on each. Go to our snare, hit the MIDI keyboard for the note we want to use, double click, and it changes to that note. Do the same with the claps. And the hi hat. So now we could play those different keys on our keyboard to play the different samples we want. So we could record our part just on this track. Let's create a MIDI item, control on the PC, command on the Mac. Let's change the recording mode to MIDI overdub. Now we can record our part in multiple passes on this track. Let's give it a shot.
So just like that, we created a MIDI part and it's triggering four different samples, which we can mix totally separately in our mixer. So that's one way to do this. But let's try the other. Let's delete these tracks and let's go back to the Media Explorer. Let's choose these samples again. We want our kick, the snare, the clap, and the hi-hat. Move them back up and we still have them separate or you can mix them right here with each sample on each track. But instead of opening each one, we could send them all from one track using different MIDI channels. So let's create another track. We'll name this track Drums MIDI. And again, use it just to trigger our MIDI. We'll select these tracks and create a send by holding down Shift and dragging the routing. And again, we'll turn off sending the audio and just send the MIDI. But this time, we're going to choose different channels. So for the kick, we use MIDI channel one. For the snare, we use two. For the clap, we use three. And the hi hat, we use four. And we could use up to 256 different MIDI channels. So we can make this as complicated as we want. So now, with this track in record and set to MIDI, it just triggers the kick because it's just sending MIDI channel one. But now we can add some plugins to this track. Let's type into the filter MIDI note and we can choose the plugin MIDI route note to channel. So now with this plugin, we could choose on a note by note basis to send each note to different MIDI channels. So I happen to know MIDI note number 36 is C. So I'm gonna send that to MIDI channel one. Then copy and paste this and do the same thing for each sample. Change this to 38 for the snare and send it to MIDI channel two. Do the same with 40 and MIDI channel three and 42 and MIDI channel four. So we can set these up using as many plugins as we want, writing each MIDI note to different MIDI channels, which again, we sent right over here, different MIDI channels to each track. So now if we play our MIDI keyboard, each note plays each sample. And what I like about this method is we could save this track, save tracks as track template, and if we set up a really complicated group of plugins that are sending different notes to different MIDI channels, it all gets saved in that track. So we don't have to do this each time. We could just import it from the track template and just use it again. And then just create those sends to each track we need. Or save it all as a track template and just drag in one sample at a time, your preference. But again, now we can record to this track and it's gonna trigger all the MIDI on these tracks, like this. And just like that, we created a part that we can mix separately in our mixer. Adjusting the level of each sample, maybe the pan, or adding effects to each with full control of each sample. So either way you go, it's just a great way to work with one sample per track production. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use one sample per track production 
15 week. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.